This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. KVUE.com says a Metro Rail train derailed in downtown Houston Tuesday morning, according to officials. The accident happened on Main at Capitol around 9 a.m. It was unknown if any other vehicles were involved, but injuries were reported. Four ambulances were on the scene and several people were being loaded onto stretchers. From WFAA.com, Magna Blends Incorporated and its workers are now trying to figure out what's happening and what comes next after one of the company's facilities in Wachahatchee exploded in flames Monday morning. Two plant workers suffered minor injuries in the fire, according to the owner. A ladder truck sent by Ennis Fire Department was enveloped in flames within seconds as firefighters scrambled to safety. The smoke plume could be seen 30 miles north in Dallas. State troopers were dressed in hazmat suits to direct traffic around the emergency zone. The fire started at 10.30 Monday morning inside the Magna Blend plant, which mixes chemicals for other companies. The problem apparently started during one of these processes. After the smoke cleared late Monday, only a shell remained of that truck. Magna Blend owner and president Scott Pendary expressed regret. It's heart-wrenching, heartbreaking, he said. This is the worst nightmare for anybody in our business. The EPA said it has not found any elevated levels of chemicals in the air surrounding the plant. Iran has placed a University of Texas student on trial. From Tehran, Iran, the Associated Press reports, a lawyer says an Iranian graduate student studying at the University of Texas has gone on trial in Tehran on charges of having relations with a hostile country and receiving illegitimate funds. Saeed Khalel says his client, Omed Kokabi, pleaded not guilty to both charges at the opening session of his trial Tuesday. Iranian authorities arrested the 29-year-old Kokabi in February at the Tehran airport. He was studying optics in the physics department at the University of Texas. Saeed Khalel told the Associated Press that he has not been able to speak with Kokabi yet. Though Iran and the United States have no diplomatic relations, many Iranian students apply to study in the U.S. every year. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.